Hello and welcome to this introduction to Continuum Stage Light for Adobe Premiere. I'd like to add some atmosphere to this shot so I'll go to the Timeline Effects window, open the Continuum Lights group and drag Continuum Stage Light to my Timeline segment. The effect is applied with its default settings with a white light source in a default position. I'll twirl open the controls for Light Source 1 and adjust its XY position. I'll adjust the light's intensity and twirl open the spotlight controls. Offset Source crops the light source to simulate a barn door on the light. Interest Z rotates the light in 3D space and I'll adjust the target to direct the light towards a more distant point. Now I'll pick a colour for my light. Up to three light sources may be enabled, so I'll enable light source 2 and adjust its position, interest, target and colour as required. Now I'll twirl open the smoke controls. Enable smoke and adjust the density and speed of the smoke to add a little more volume to the effect. Now I'll scrub to preview. I have an audio track that I'd like to sync my lights to. Like many continuum effects, stage lights parameter values may be controlled by audio levels by enabling beat reactor. When I enable Beat Reactor in the light controls, the message prompts me to browse for an audio file to sync to. I'll hit the External File button and select the audio file which is present in the audio track. Now an audio waveform graph is displayed. In the Beat Reactor Apply options, I'll choose to apply Beat Reactor to Master Light Intensity and crop the sample region to trigger off the low frequencies indicated by the audio waveform. Finally, I'll turn off the waveform display and play back the result. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow Boris Effects on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the Boris Effects products.